Have you ever heard of a tiger and a snow leopard sharing a habitat? Well, it is nothing short of a miracle. This is Jimidoji National Park, where the wonders of nature are an everyday treat. It is where the Royal Bengal Tiger shares a habitat with the snow leopard 4,000 meters above sea level. Jimidoji National Park is the second largest park in Bhutan with an area of 4,374.06 square kilometer. The park is located in the northwest part of the country and spreads over four districts, Thimpu, Paro, Punakha and Gasa. As the oldest protected area in the country, the park was initially identified as a wildlife sanctuary in honor of third king Jimidoji Wancho. Later, in 1993, the park was notified as a national park and operationalized in 1995. The park boasts an incredible wealth of biodiversity which as of today includes 1,434 species of vascular plants, 50 mammals, 411 birds, 4 species of bees, 184 butterflies, 15 amphibians, 22 reptiles and 17 dragonflies and damselflies. It is a haven for some of the world's most vulnerable and endangered species. The park has a thriving population of the endangered Royal Bengal Tiger, Asiatic Wild Dogs and the vulnerable Snow Leopard sharing habitats. Other wildlife includes musk deer, Himalayan black bears, red pandas, sambar deer, barking deer, Himalayan blue sheep and many others. The park has a thriving population of takin. Bhutan's national animal. It is also home to the national bird, the raven, and the national tree, the cypress, setting it apart from the rest of the parks in Bhutan. Jimidoji National Park has a collection of avifaunal species, recorded 411 species so far. It is home to Donny Fish Owl, Sarar Tragopan, and the endangered Palace Fish Eagle. Home to more than 200 species of plants, the park is a treasure trove of medicinal plants. The most valuable and widely collected are the Cordyceps, Picoriza curoa, and Aconitum. In the lower areas, Himalayan yew and several species of Artemisia are believed to have chemical contents that can cure many diseases. The park also finds various incense, wild ferns, wild mushrooms, and orchids. Due to the sheer number of plants that have ethnobotanical and medicinal values, Jimidoji National Park offers great potential for bioprospecting. The amazing natural feat doesn't end here. The park also showcases a breathtaking panoramic view of the snow-capped mountains. It is home to some of the popular snow-capped mountain peaks in Bhutan, such as Chomalari, Jitutake, Terimgaon, Ganchata, Masagaon, Sendagaon, Jekafugaon, and Ganchesingen. The mountainous terrain features glacial lakes scattered across the park like turquoise jewels. The glacial lakes feed the four major river basins in western Bhutan, Pachu, Wanchu, Pochu, and Mochu. The four river basins are considered the water tower of western Bhutan as they are harnessed downstream to generate hydroelectricity in some of the mega hydropower plants in the country. Among these pristine and mighty mountains are the abodes of the highlanders of Se, Linji, Laya, and Lunana. Imagine strolling through the lush alpine meadows and the sound of fresh babbling streams with the picturesque backdrop of the snow-capped mountains. Isn't it a dream come true? Well, this is the life for these semi-nomadic communities that have made these mountains their home and subsisted on raising young. Some highland communities grow wheat, barley, and mustard as opposed to the popular trademark of yak herd. However, one of the highlanders' major income sources is harvesting medicinal plants, especially cordyceps. While talking about highlander, you cannot help but talk about Laya, one of the highest settlements in Bhutan. And the best way to experience Laya is through the Highland Festival, which is celebrated every year in October. The festival showcases the vibrant culture of Highlanders and exhibits the Highlands as the pride of Bhutan. These communities have blended so well with nature that they know its ways. They take from nature and protect it in return. 
The park is a living example of the coexistence of one of the most unique semi-nomadic cultures and its rich biodiversity. As we move down from the cold and rugged mountains to the lowlands, we are welcomed by the communities of Kathu, Kame, Gyeongshari and Tewang in the east, Kawang in the central and Sento and Dote in the west. Each community has a distinctive historical legend, accent and ways of celebrating festivals. The people here depend on agriculture for their livelihood. Aside from the myriad cultures, Jimidoji National Park has many religious sites of great importance, particularly the Gyeongsepungye, Sechudra and Chari Monastery. The historical fortress of Lingji and Gasazong is also located within the National Park's boundaries. With their spiritual and historical importance, these religious sites also add to the unique aspects of the park. The park attracts a large number of tourists who enjoy nature and trekking through the park's alpine region to relish the scenic beauties and the pleasant challenges rendered by the high mountain passes and snow-capped peaks. The park has some of the best trekking routes in Bhutan. The snowman trek is considered one of the most difficult treks to complete and takes almost a month to finish. The trek is long but will take you to some of the remote places in Bhutan and through 10 mountain passes. If you are a runner, you will be glad to know that the park also hosts a marathon every year called the Snowman Race. The race covers more than 200 kilometers through the mountainous terrain to help raise awareness of the impact of climate change. However, if you are looking for something shorter but challenging, the Jomalari Trek is for you. Taking seven days, the highlight of the trek is the spectacular view of Jumalari Mountain. One such way to enjoy the Jumalari is the Jumalari Mountain Festival, celebrated every year at the base of the Jumalari Mountain. The festival celebrates the unique culture of the highland communities and the amazing nature, especially the elusive snow leopard. What better way to end the long hike through the mountains than by soaking in the hot baths of Gaza? The park is famed for having the largest number of hot springs and medicinal baths. Every year, hundreds of people around the country come to dip into the hot springs and medicinal baths for their healing and therapeutic purpose. In Jimidoji National Park, you will experience nature, culture and life like never before. While the park's rich ecosystem is home to many species and provides tremendous environmental benefits to people living both inside and outside the park, the park is also faced with challenges from developmental activities and human-wildlife conflict. In an effort to mitigate poaching, the management conducts smart patrolling and community awareness on the impacts of poaching. To mitigate the human wildlife conflict in the area, the park management provides support to the communities through various initiatives such as providing electric fences, coral fences, and other livelihood opportunities. The communities and the park management work together to ensure successful conservation while safeguarding livelihood development opportunities for the community residents. One such collaboration is the commitment of the community to refrain grazing of their cattle during the summer in Tarijanta area as the area is a critical summer habitat for Takin. This collaboration exhibits the peaceful coexistence of humans and nature. The management envisions Jimidoji National Park to be a conservation heritage for perpetuity. <laughs>